Let's try this again. I have no idea what the, that what all that shit's supposed to be. So let's go back. I wonder if there's something we missed. Alright, the happy music's playing. What's this? The rusty old gate was locked. All Piglet had to do was find the key which would open it. Really? No. What's this thing? If he tried talking to Eeyore, maybe that would cheer him up. Yeah, thanks to your words of wisdom, Gru. Go through depression yourself before giving advice on it. And I'm not saying you have to get depression. I mean, you gotta see someone with depression. Be a therapist. Alright. What the fuck do we do here? 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 There's like clearly no other way out. Alright, let's try pushing this pumpkin again. Oh, we can push it farther! A rusty old key. Now he keeps the key under the mat. That was a mattress? Why is it got a smiley face? Eeyore, are you that desperate? <laughs> Aw, I kind of feel bad now. Oh shit. <laughs> the vampires are back. Good to know the vampires have been following us around. More than the bees, more than the regular heffalumps, more than the regular woozles. Rue's still okay. Let's use the key and get on out of here. Yeah. <gasps> it's a bell! Though it was very heavy, Piglet managed It was very heavy! Yeah, he had no trouble lifting it. <laughs> Stop contradicting yourself, narrator. Ah, the vampires! We've done this before, Piglet. They're no big deal. Let's fight! Wow, I like how I fight the one that's farther away. <laughs> I... I think... That sound Piglet makes is as though he removed his teeth and, um, aged by 30 years. Not to age stereotype, but that's literally what it sounds like. It's straight out of a cartoon. It doesn't sound right, I'm sorry. Dead. I know, that's so scary, I know. The only thing that's scary is that you're practically ripping your mouth off. Anyways, this must be what the bell is for. Yep, that's clearly not a sign. And wow, I couldn't even tell that was a hook, because you know what, the hook you can't even see. Anyways, it looks like, um, Eeyore decided to become a Tomb Raider to cheer himself up, because we have a crypt underneath his, um, house. I wonder what's down here. Oh my god! Not running away. Not running away. Not running away. Yeah, I'm fine, don't worry. You realize how close to the camera you are, pig. Look, you're still smiling, even though those scary heffalumps all stomp on you right behind you. So let's take it nice. Oh god. 
Nice distance away! Nice! Holy fuck! No! No! He's immune! He's immune! Never mind, he's good. For good measure, let's do it again. Spot me from over here, bastard! Come on! I'm not afraid of you! I'm not afraid of you! I'm so not afraid of you that I'm only gonna press square! And you know what? Maybe we'll add a circle up on top of that, and then, yeah, maybe another square. So, if that's not enough for you, triangle, square, circle, oh, fuck! That's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, God. Ah, we had to lift a curtain because, you know, we need such a curtain call because, you know, we're big a celebrity now that we just killed two of those monsters. <sighs> but hello, Baglet. Oh, there you hello, are. Lord. How are you doing today? As good as can be expected. Are as good as can be something? expected. Not less than usual. It's just kind of gray in here, is all. Kind of gray. That there are a lot of colors in um, Eeyore, you clearly discovered this place yourself. You're the one who made it freaking gray. You need help. That's very kind of you, Piglet. Piglet. Yes, Eeyore? Thanks for noticing me. Notice? Oh my god, he is a depression victim. <laughs> Alright, cookies. Damn it! We better go back in the previous room. We gotta go find all the cookies that we need. Alright, let's go back. I like how it's literally like a Resident Evil camera angle right now. And one of the cookies bounced out of frame. For some reason, it feels like the cookies are. What? Uh, uh, no! Damn it! Oh, uh, get it! Nice. Do it again. Uh, nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing very interesting about this cookie collecting. I agree. We need, um, 25 more cookies. So, let's... Here, that bounced so far, you know, so I have to go back and kick it again. And is there anything interesting I can note? Well, in one of my dog's time out, I did go to my local GameStop store because they have a 4 for 40 deal going on where you could um, get four games that are like worth more than $40 for $40. So I got Forza Horizon on the 360, which I still have yet to try out, because my 360 batteries died. I'm recharging them. Um, 
I also got Sniper Elite V2 Silver Star Edition. I already got the free Sniper Elite V2 on the 360, but I wanted the DLC for cheap, and I did get it for cheap, thanks to the Silver Star Edition. Though I got it on PS3. And then I got two games that got bad reviews. Family Guy Back to the Multiverse and Walking Dead Survival Instinct. And I don't quite get the bad reviews on both of them. Don't get me wrong, I don't I don't think they're great by any stretch of the word, but you know what? They got like 40%. No, Family Guy got like a 40%, and Walking Dead got like a 30%. To me, Walking Dead's maybe a 5.5 out of 10, maybe 6, debatably. And then Family Guy, I would put it at 6. So, well, for, from what I've played, I haven't played them for very long. But I would tell, I'll tell you one thing. I don't think they deserve the scathing reviews they got. I would say they're more on the mediocre side. From what I've played so far, anyway. I would definitely say I got my $9 worth for each of them. And they'll definitely be good Let's Plays in the future. And I'll definitely say that Family Guy especially... I don't I have no regrets, especially since the other Family Guy game that came out was a big piece of shit. So, and I mean the one from 2005. I really freaking hated that game. <sighs> Holy crap! Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Over there. <laughs> it's like Metal Gear stuff. Let's see how long it'll take for them to notice me. Notice me, goddammit! This is the depression world! <laughs> Again! <laughs> well, overkill, Piglet, don't you agree? Hmm. Let's see. Um, what do you do? Piglet was able to see the ball of color in the bottle. Ball of he color. He would have liked to take it back to Eeyore. But how could he... Piglet could see that there was a flag with a symbol of a, a sword. A flag? I can't ball. see what these flags are. I'm ball, sorry. Piglet noticed a flag with a symbol of a shield. <gasps> oh, a puzzle! And this thing's not responding very well. Alright. Let's see. Nice. Are these knights based on woozles? On the wall. Piglet noticed a flag with the symbol of a fleur de lis. Fleur de what? What'd he say? On the wall, Piglet noticed a flag with the symbol of a fleur de lis. Uh, I'm assuming it's this one because that one we can't push over there. So. Oh, the flags are up there. Maybe I do need to get my eyes checked. <sighs> nah, I'm good, I'm sure. All right, over here. Press an X, 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 press an X. Press an X to push the thing in, and I'm not saying press X to Jason again. Not now, anyway. So, there we go. Where the hell's that? What a rather strange picture. Well, it certainly should be straightened. But how would Piglet go about doing that? Okay, I don't, 
I don't know. I guess we have to walk out. Oh, God. All right, let's head in here. One of the colors! Oh my god. Why all of a sudden are we in a giant dining room? Well, of course we have some Woosel Minions. Oh god, we're dead. Ah, that's not enough! Get the hell out of there! <laughs> yes, as it turns out, we can run. Alright, let's finish you off, bastard. Yes, doing the proper scare this time. I just realized it's like impossible to die now. Because of this escape mechanic. Yeah! We need to get you a new scare, Piglet. Now. Wow, but then again, the new scare will probably work, look even worse than this one. I know it's kind of the point with scaring, but by worse, I mean it's going to look even stupider. Let's see. Nice. All right, five more cookies, and we're ready to go. Back in. Hell, I'll probably just buy the... Oh my god, look at that, Woozle. It's a fashion model. All right, fashion model. Let's fight. All right, what's your gimmick? Oh, you turn it... What the fuck? So he turns the screen sideways. I don't get it. Fashion model flips the screen. Alright. Nice. I know I'm scary. I am scary, right? You're flipping the screen powers do not amuse me, fashion model! Alright, let's see. Oh, another string Piglet can't reach. Too high for our small friend Piglet to pull. How was he to reach it? He can't push that. Oh, wait a sec. Can he? Yes, he can. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. What do we do? We push, push. <laughs> I was about to do the rest of the song, but we pushed it, so... You know, fuck it, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> to push you must put your strength in! Someone's got me! Oh, wait. Never mind, it's my headset. It cramped a little bit. <laughs> I gotta fix it. Alright, so we have some scary shit. Alongside a candle that doesn't give us some um, cookies. Okay, so what was that scary thing for? Oh! Heffalumps. So Piglet picked up the corks. Oh my god! I like how he does the teeth chattering thing after he noses the heffalumps. Alright. 
Alright, bastard, go down. I know you're scared of me, but I, I think you're... Personally, I think you're trying not to die of laughter. Why do you think you're still smiling, you know? Oh god, another one. <laughs> He's smiling. I just want to give you a big hug. That's why I'm smiling. <laughs> In fact, anytime I scare you, I laugh just because I entertain you. I'm a funny elephant, huh? No. You're a monster from hell. That's gotta go down. Yeah, no cookies out of that. So, we are going to cash in our cookies now and call it for this game tonight. Wait, can we see? Oh god, I th I don't think we can collect more cook. Oh, never mind, we can collect more cookies. Oh! Now we can cash them in, okay. Let's do that. Okay, because... Hmm. Never know, we we'll need those scares. Because you know, they're really scary, right? Thank you, Phelous, for letting me know about that. With that stupid version of the Beast from Good Times is Beauty and the Beast movie. With the old man that Phelous turned into a big meme. Okay, what we get? Huh? You got that from Sully, you fucking plagiarizer, you fucking copycat, you fucking thief. I got nothing. I I'd said all there is. So Piglet's new scare is stealing um Sully's gunshot quote unquote scare from Monsters Inc. Scream Team. Sully's got a file copyright. Hey, with these jacked up copyright laws, he could get away with it. So, you know what? I'm going to take a break. I got to go let him know. See you on the next video.